Jennifer Lopez. Okay, I was on the age one. And that's why In Touch went ahead and published the story. Because that's pretty damning info. But if it came from somebody really close to J-Lo, I mean, that's pretty damning info. But if it came from somebody really close to J-Lo, then legally, they would have been able to publish it because, well, either J-Lo's publicist or J-Lo or J-Lo's manager or somebody connected to J-Lo told us. So we're legally okay to print this because we think this is true. You know, Mark was spending a lot of time with Jada and, you know, some J-Lo started to think these thoughts. We're not sure if it's true or not. They might have just had an emotional affair. But, but there you go. That's some juicy shit. I just heard that. <laughs> I, that. I should hold that and put it on my website. <laughs> now, you yourself have been so nice to meet you and getting acts recognized. Who would you say is the most influential name in music right now? Between an artist, Gosh. producer, music exec, anybody? That's a good anybody. question. The most influential name in music. Mm. I'd have to say it's Simon Cowell, just because. I'm fairly certain. I read the Hollywood Reporter profile on him. I'm fairly certain when X Factor premieres, it will be the number one show in America. He's saying that uh, he wants for about 20 million an episode. I think it'll be even more than that. I think that X Factor might top 30 million an episode, which hasn't happened in forever. I think at its height, Idol was doing like 28 million, 29 million. But what I think is going to happen with X Factor is everybody's going to watch it for a variety of reasons. First, it's new. Second, it's Simon back on TV. Third, it's Simon and Paula together again. And then it's going to be one of those water cooler shows where everybody's going to be watching it. And if you don't watch it, you're going to feel left out. I don't watch any television, but I plan on watching X Factor. And I'm saying that because I'm a fan of the show. I'm, I'm not on it, unfortunately, but I still am excited to see it. Now looking ahead to the VMAs tomorrow, can you tell me about the first time you ever saw Britney Spears uh, hit me baby one more time? Oh gosh, I, you know, that's like, Britney I feel like has always been a part of my life. <laughs> I don't remember the first time I saw Britney hit me baby one more time. But I remember where I was when I saw her VMA performance with Oops I Did It Again in Satisfaction. I was at Weinstein Hall at NYU on Waverly Place watching that and I literally started squealing. Like, oh my god! She, oh my god, yes! And in the middle of it, where she like drops to the floor and then does this look, that look, and she's like, looking straight ahead. I was like, oh, this, this is it. This is it! And at that moment in her career, Brittany was it. So it's totally fitting and amazing that she's having a tribute to the VMAs. Last question. Now, Lil Wayne has had so much crossover success. Why do you think that is? And would you consider him a pop? Artist. Well, the Hollywood Reporter recently said that Lil Wayne jumped the shark because he released the song that. How to Love. Mm -hmm. Personally, I think it's great that he's able to try new things and have it be received well. I appreciate that, and I consider him recently more of a pop artist, even though before he was strictly a rapper and a rapper artist. Thank you so much. You're welcome.